All right, Van Camper Project, part something or the other. Uh, so, well, now I'm gonna try and construct the bed that's going to take up basically 80% of the room in this thing. Uh, I'm not gonna go the route of uh, having some fancy fold-up thing, uh, but instead, since I'm such a tiny person, I'm about just about 1 meter 70, I'm just gonna make the entire bed very tall so it's easy to access stuff underneath it. So these two garden chairs and uh, 2x4s are my a height testing jig and uh, this is pretty much spot on 50 centimeters from the floor and I have a, quite a bit of uh, headroom even to this bar which is a few centimeters lower than the actual ceiling so uh, might as well sit in it and uh, you'll see let's see so now I'm sitting at uh, 50 centimeters and uh, there's a bit of space, but I'm sitting very straight now, and I can, like, force my head almost up to the ceiling, but, you know, sitting in a comfortable posture, if I'm going to be leaning against a wall or something, this is just going to be absolutely well within margins. So, I think I'm going to put the final height at uh, about 55, including the mat mattress, so, uh, probably about, about 50 centimetres from the bottom of the bed frame to the top of the bed frame and the way I'm going to construct the bed frame is using this rundown old bed which actually used to be my solar panel mount prior to the rack part there uh, and I'm, this is all rusted and horrible but it'll do I'm going to use some of this stainless stuff I've got some nice bars also cut apart all the racks and make a frame somehow, weld it together, or at least try to and uh, essentially either weld or zip tie this on top of it I'll probably, you know, I might even bolt it actually depending on which bars I end up using but that's going on top of a stainless steel frame so I can replace it easily and this, this is a quite tiny bed, it's uh, I think it's about 80 centimeters wide by like 180 deep so it doesn't take up every single centimeter of a van, it's exactly 2 meters deep uh, and it leaves you know, just a bit of space for you to walk around uh, on the side as well. I'm going to use the fact that the, a lot of this metal stuff has uh, these rack mounting uh, holes on them I'm going to use that to my advantage and use a few of these old rack mount cases uh, to build some shelving and the idea is that I'm going to have a bed with one leg essentially pointing outwards so that I can just bolt a few of these onto the side of it and have them sit very sturdily and then I can just, just use those for storage I think that's going to turn out quite well and gives me some extra room for access on, on the side here to have random bits and bobbins uh, so I'm just going to get to work with that alright so I've now found a mattress it's about 10 centimeters thick and compresses down to about 5 uh, and I've done some uh, cardboard box calculation based on that so we have a mattress I'm going to count on 5 centimeters thickness and that gives us a frame plus bed plus mattress thickness of 10.5 centimeters and that leaves us a, a 55 centimeter total height and a 45 centimeter leg height. So that's great. Now we know that. Uh, then I've kind of sketched uh, up the underside of a bed, uh, and I've measured up how these uh, rack mount metal uh, bars I've got uh, work out. So this part is 3.5 centimeters protruding. This is six by three. And uh, th that's the, the same metal except with a rack mount that's going to make up the uh, bed frame itself. Uh, and uh, the way I figured I'd mount it is I'll weld together uh, a square frame for the bed and uh, I'll mount the leg kind of recessed with about 3.5 centimeters to the side of the bed because that way the rack mount will come pretty much flush to the side of a bed and make it quite compact and easy to mount stuff onto and I probably get a bit of extra strength since uh, this is being welded to both the, the bars that are going across and uh, uh, along the length of a vehicle uh, so I think I have a pretty clear idea of how I want it to look uh, the 
a cross member that's going to go between uh, the longer runners is going to be 68 centimeters and the total worth is going to be 80 uh, which is the same as this bed and these cheaper beds seem to be in general so now I'm just gonna spend a few hours cutting grinding and trying to weld all right and here are the bars I've chosen and I've measured up all my cuts so this one here is the longest uh, it's 174 uh, the, the racks they came out of was 180 and I cut with some slack. Uh, this one's slightly longer, so I'm, I'm going to cut that one down to 174. And these are going to be the runners for the length of the uh, bed frame. Uh, on this one, uh, I have measured up 68 centimeters to that end and 68 centimeters to that end. These are going to be the crossbars, so these three pieces are going to make up the top of the bed. Uh, and then uh, these pieces are going to make up the legs and uh, this is a uh, bar with rack made stuff on stuck on top onto it and I measured up 45 from there uh, to that line there and uh, I've uh, measured up so that the rack holes are going to line up somewhat well with my uh, intended storage boxes so this should turn out pretty nice uh, and I've done basically the same size the same thing on here for the uh, front right side leg and I'm just going to make this so that they're mirrored uh, since they're the opposite ends of the stick that works out quite well so I can make some boxes on either side but it's actually going to be deep enough to handle uh, bo two boxes back to back for just a couple centimeters in between and I've got quite a few of them and so that should work out really nice for some pretty useful storage and uh, these pieces are just uh, uh, the real legs which are not going to have any extra mounting stuff on them they're just gonna be holding everything together so now I've got a lot of grinding and welding to do and a bit of cutting and grinding later I think we can start to get an idea as to how this will look so I've cut uh, these are the front legs which are going to have the rack and stuff facing outward it's going to go across there but it's not sturdy enough to just place it there and the opposite for the left side right side whatever so these are the front end and this is going to be the back end these are going to go the other direction to give it a bit more stability and uh, that's about it really now all I've got to do is wire wheel the edges and uh, try and weld it together hoping a lot that <laughs> this cracked old concrete slab is uh, somewhat straight because that's the flattest largest surface I've got around here Alright, I've now put down a few spot welds. If I showed a close-up, I'm sure someone would tell me how horribly bad they are. Oh well, I did a few trials on some scraps, so I'm relatively confident this is going to stick together. Oh, that's not too bad. I don't mind that at all. Now I've just got to finish it up. And in the fading daylight, we have a bed frame. Uh, thankfully the light doesn't allow me to show the welds, because I assure you they are terrible. Even I can recognise that and everything's a bit off, a bit wonky, a bit not straight anywhere. But uh, it seems to be relatively sturdy. I can grab one of these and use quite considerable force to just move the entire thing around and that's pretty much all I can ask for. I did end up uh, mounting these two hind legs so to speak uh, on this bar here rather than these because these turned out to be not entirely straight but uh, obviously that one's going to be pretty much perpendicular so and above all same same angle for both of these so they should be pointing in roughly the same direction. Now let's just flip it over and see. Now oh, there she stands, tall as a coffee table so Let's uh, give her a bit of a try. Uh, if this holds up, then I'm going to give it uh, acceptable points. I'm sure any welding instructor would give me a fail on the joints. Yeah, it's keeping up. That's good enough for me. Sweet. And there we have it in the van, full of crap because I had to pack up for the evening. 
Uh, something tells me that either the van or the concrete slab wasn't entirely straight because we basically have a full centimetre of play there and I'm kind of probably not going to show up very well but if we... No, there's too much crap in there. Yeah, but if we have a look around here you can see how it's just all kind of wonky. But that's no big deal. I can prop it up or I can cut a couple of the legs tomorrow. This world actually turned out kind of okay-ish. Eh, doesn't matter. It's gonna hold for my little puny 60 kilo body anyway. Another day dawns uh, and I've been spending this morning uh, just kind of fixing up the bed frame. Uh, so, uh, to resolve the wonkiness uh, because it's kind of bent, I just went the ugly route and uh, measured up the gap and uh, welded a little extra piece on one of the legs, so this leg is slightly longer than the rest. Uh, it doesn't really matter to me, it's just a bed frame, it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. I don't quite care. Uh, and I redid a couple of the worst joints uh, from yesterday. Uh, oddly enough, it's a lot easier to weld uh, in the daylight and uh, I think that one's... I mean, it's a bit spotty, but it's not so bad. Though when you go around there where I can't access to grind it, yeah, uh, not so good. But it seems to be quite sturdy. It doesn't have, seem to have any tendency of falling apart. And that's really all I care about. So... Well, now all I've got to do is figure out a way to attach that blue bed thing onto this and we'll be good to go. So, so while my, uh, trying to make the bed from, I just had a pretty a great idea. So initially I was just going to cut that middle part off, dismount the outer legs, they fall down, and uh, you know, just made the bed frame as it was uh, just bolted to uh, the new bed frame. But uh, when I figured these beds fold together and they fall together downwards, so they go like that. And if I were to just mount the bed upside down, I'd have a perfect little hatch. I could just look, do that and have perfect access to everything underneath. Uh, the only issue with it doing that is that uh, the springs uh, have a bias, so they want to go to the original upside of a bed, so I'm going to have to flip all the springs and remount those, but that's no biggie because I'd have to undo them anyway because the frame's so uh, weak in the middle here that it's actually gone kind of A-shaped, so I have to kind of bend it back out to make it run straight along the lines. Uh, as far as attaching it to the new frame, I'm going to go very simple. I'm just going to take these two uh, hose clamps and clamp it down. It's uh, it pressed down very firmly when I tried it. And that also makes it very easy to just remove this and replace it, which is probably going to be necessary at some stage because this thing is pretty rusted through. But uh, these fold-up beds are very, very, very common around here, so I can just hunt one down in the flea market as time goes on. So now I'm just going to undo all the springs and uh, clamp this down and cut that middle leg off because that's going to be kind of in the way. And there we have it. That's pretty much completed now. Uh, I uh, put some uh, white primer across the welds there just to uh, stop it from immediately rusting in case I have to leave it outside uh, overnight or something. And I took and wire wheeled most of the rust and loose paint off of the bed frame and it's kind of left it with a kind of post-apocalyptic look. I kind of like it. Uh, this thing is probably going to be replaced sooner or later. But I put the springs back. It works. All right, I'd say. I'm getting stuck on everything now. And it'll fold up. You can access whatever's underneath. I'm not certain if I'm going to put some kind of clamping down there in order to stop it rattling. Probably going to have to. But that's no biggie. Ah, there we go. I took some you know, of this rather springy metal wire I've got and made a couple of little clamps which just slide into the holes where the end legs of the bed used to go. Yeah. I think these are going to do a decent job. They just uh, spring down really using their own and the bed's spring springiness to 
uh, stay in place. This one's a bit dicky. Oh, there you go. You can probably, yeah, lift the entire thing through the bed now, see? So I think that's going to do plenty well. Alright, and there it is, in the vehicle. Sadly though, even though I added well over a centimetre to this leg here, it's still off by, well this is 4, 8, 12 millimetres. So the car has to be a bit wonky as well. But yeah, now it's at least not several centimetres. But let's give it a first test. See how well I fit in here. That's not too bad. I don't feel as if I'm about to die. Could certainly have a worse time. And I can sit up full height, just fine. No issues. Although the vehicle slightly all the way in this end, so let's try that. Oh, that's not too bad. Not too bad. Plenty. Ample headroom. No issues. Sweet. So, that's... Oh, that's by far the most terrifying project completed because I'm such a novice at everything relating to metal and welding and constructing large objects. So, now I guess I'll finally get to move on to the electrics and storage boxes and stuff that goes underneath there. Because now we've got, well it has to be almost, a cubic meter space there, right? Yeah, anyway it doesn't really, oh no hang on, this actually works out quite well. Initially the frame would hit the uh, rear fender there, uh, but due to the fact that the bed frame extends slightly in front and behind it, it works out just fine. I don't really want to have it all the way to the painted edge. We're probably going to put some kind of damper there to just stop it rubbing. And as for the front end, uh, we have a rack mount there. So my boxes should... Let's see if I did this right. Uh, close enough. That is definitely close enough. So a few of these are just going to bolt onto there. And I have some space where I can just shove long things in there from both sides, which is going to be uh, very handy. These are my mosquito nets, which are yet to be built properly. So, I can probably get either three or four of these on top of each other on each side. So that's going to be very useful cargo space. And hopefully electricity comes here since all the wiring's coming out through a hole there. I think it's going to turn out pretty okay. Latch. Latch on that. Uh, latch. Yeah, it's not going to latch properly. Going to have to do it from the other side. Ah. I am proud of myself. I'm certain I, <laughs> I shouldn't be, but eh, it works. I don't think it's going to collapse, and that's what matters. <sighs> Guess what's it? Cheerio.